three light studio light setup for lighting the studio with lights. Welcome to the studio. This is it. This is where it all goes down. This is where the art happens, the podcast, the madness, the chaos. But, you know, there's one problem with this place. One huge problem that makes this video shit. You know what it is. Come on. Don't make me tell you. I know you know. I know you know. The lighting fucking sucks. I mean, it's decent, but it could be a lot better. So today, what we're gonna do on the other side of the garage, yes, we are in the garage, is we're gonna set up a nice white backdrop with a three light studio lighting light set up for lighting the studio with lights. We're gonna need our key light, the headlight, the light that's gonna light this bad puppy up. That's right, my face. You know what else we're gonna need? We're gonna need a fill light, right? Because we're gonna have this bright key light shining on my face, and then it's gonna create these dark shadows. And the shadows are good, you know? They add contrast, they add structure to my face. But we don't want them too dark, so we're gonna have the fill light to just add a little extra light to my shadow side. And then, whew, the fun stuff. At least I think it's the fun stuff. We're gonna have a backlight. Hoo hoo hoo. Yeah, so basically we're gonna have a light behind me pointing on the background to create this glow effect around me and just to add some separation between me and the backdrop. What we're gonna do for my backlight, a colored light. So we'll be able to change it. Basically doing that, it will make the white look like it's any color I fucking want. So let's get to it. Here is the other side of the garage. And then over here, where all that shit is, we're about to do what I was just talking about. So let's position the camera on nicely and get to it. some sound effects. This thing's cool. Look, yeah, let's see how this sounds. Well, let's call that the whoop. Let's see if I can throw that into this video somewhere. See if you can notice the whoop. Now we're gonna get a quick peek at what it looks like with the fill light. Bam! If you're ever wondering why lighting is important, see this nasty wrinkly sheet going to just about perfectly solid white backdrop. No key light, key light. No key light, key light. No key light, key light. So next, we're gonna add the fill light. We got the exact same bulb as we used for the key light. This time we got a white umbrella. We're gonna shine the light through it so this umbrella absorbs it and dims it. Basically, all you wanna do with this is make sure your key light is way brighter than your fill light. All right, how's this, this setup look? No hat. I'll talk about that, sorry. It's not really up to you. Dun, 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 dun. So now we have our third and final light. Basically for this guy, we got this color changing bulb and I just got this reflector to help it spread out. This is before I've even color corrected it or anything, so I wonder what that'll look like. But anyways, we'll mess with that, try some stuff out, keep improving it. Yeah, let me know what you think. If you guys have your own light up set up, let me know what you're working with, how I can improve on mine. But yeah, we're just gonna keep rolling with it and growing with this. Studio light set up. Studio's got lights, better than before. Let's go record some shit. Did you notice the whoop? 